everybody, welcome to Northern Lion Tribes, Jet Lancer. Jet Lancer is a an arcade slash anime inspired jet shooter. That's the best I can do on that. It looks, you remember Luftrausers? I mean, you might still be playing Luftrausers. It's the Vlambert game where you kind of, you, you dip low towards the ocean and then you fly up into the clouds and it's very momentum uh, driven. It looks like a, a version of that or like a, uh, it looks like it takes that kind of core gameplay uh, mechanic and, and stretches it out into something that, I mean, I, I like Luftrausers a lot, but it is solely mechanics driven with no story mode for the most part. So it's, it's more or less just a pure arcade game. Jet Lancer, on the other hand, appears to have a campaign. This was a code I received from the developer. Thank you for that. And it came out on Steam yesterday. Let's see what's going on here. I will start my engine, if you don't mind. Look at that. The engine has, has been started. One, and then engage. Okay, so it, again, it is a little, definitely a little Luftrausers inspired here. Yo, the music is like... <laughs> it's very anime driven. Okay, do we not... We can point downwards. Hold on. It's taken me some time just to get uh, my feel for the controls. Activate all targets. All right. I Oh, honestly, I'm trying to hit right to go down. Obviously, that makes no sense. I should be hitting down to go down. All right. Look at this. The man, he, he just can't be stopped. Wait, okay, maybe I can be stopped, but it's not easy to stop me. There we go. There we go. And then... Let's go. He's actually done it. We've got the freedom of movement. What are we doing? Use some afterburn. Afterburn is like a boost. From everything I know about 90s fighter jet culture, the afterburn is like, you know, when Pavel Bure sees that he's got a breakaway, he turns on the afterburners. So you gotta give me a second here. You get, okay, I know you're like, why did you plummet downwards? That's my mistake. That one's my mistake. Ah, oh, let's send it. Okay, good stuff. This is how I fly. Go to last waypoint. Now that's speed. The sense of speed is on parallel. Look at that. Tutorial complete. Destroy enemies. Hold on, I thought this was gonna be a, uh, a peaceful game. <laughs> Look at that. It's actually, like, um, a really, really good idea for a game. Right off the bat. I mean, first off, obviously, the presentation is fantastic so far. Um, help. Let's try shooting some rockets as well. Um, but Luftrausers was such a mechanically interesting game. To stretch it out into something that is a little bit more robust than merely its, you know, central gameplay conceit is, is super cool. Okay, the rockets are homing, so... I mean, the rockets in games tend to be. Don't give... Hey! We do get a little shield when we get hit. Honestly, why don't they make the whole Jet Lancer out of the shield? Yo, did we did we trick him into falling into the water? Turn on your afterburners, brother. Oh, I guess if we overheat, we actually lose HP as well. Under Understood, understood. Oh! You're doing great, sweet. Look at that. It's so easy. Victory. Okay, don't don't patronize me. That was merely the tutorial. We did get an A tier, so I'll take that. That's not so bad. I mean, it's not it's not quite S tier or S S S tier, but flushing coolant, depressurizing cockpit, rebooting digital displays. Ooh. It's like the start of Thor Ragnarok. Can you hear me, Ash? Loud and clear, Cap. This new jet is a beauty. It took us a minute to get used to the interface, but wow, I've never flown anything like it. I'm glad you like it. It's all we could afford after that last mission. Guy who sold it to me couldn't wait to get rid of it. A beast like this? Why was he in such a hurry to sell? Supposedly, it was a government prototype that never made it into production. He claimed it was because the AI was haunted, but I'm sure it was just bureaucratic red tape. Explains why it kept scanning for eutrophic threats. Hey, why does the instrument panel say limiter on? You trying to hold me back? I don't do limits. Don't touch that setting. Like I said, this thing's a prototype. It's unstable. The limiter is the only thing keeping it from tearing itself apart. So turning it off would probably kill me? Yes. Got it. Lead with that next time. 
So what's on the menu today? Nothing too fancy. The first Space Bureau are having a planned military satellite deorbit operation soon. The crash site will be swarmed with all kinds of scavengers and sky pirates looking for debris before it's buried under the sea. They want me to scare some rats off a pile of space garbage? What's next? A pizza delivery contract? Have you forgotten about last week's contract with the HMS Vanguard? Uh-oh. Local mercs to blame. You mean when I single-handedly saved it from that Sky Pirate raiding party? I'm referring to the part where a couple of your low-altitude maneuvers send your plane and two Sky Pirate jets careening into the deck. We, and by we I mean you, are still on the hook for 350 million credits, and the government isn't a very generous creditor. So why are we taking these nickel and dime jobs then? A couple of real contracts would pay that off in no time. As much as I'd love to put you in mortal danger right now and let our insurance policy cover things, our carrier doesn't have a hover drive. Without a hover drive, we're stuck taking whatever jobs we can be offered here in the sheltered sea. Alright, get back to the bridge. Let's do it. It's been approximately 90 seconds since I had gameplay. Yo. Real N64 hours here. Let's do it. First Space Bureau will start the orbiting operation any second now, and they definitely don't want any of their military-grade equipment to end up in the wrong hands. You gotta keep those scavengers busy until all satellite parts will submerge to unreachable depths. Okay, I'll do my best. Looks like the pirates really want you dead. They have brought out a heavy armored ship. You have guided rockets for situations like this. Use them. So I just need to check something real quick. Rockets. LB. Alright, alright. I had forgotten. I had forgotten. I almost crashed. Okay. Let's see. You know it. Just be cool. Get close. Did we do it? Are you dead? You're dead. Okay. Beautiful. Call. Enemy fighter squadron incoming. You can charge up a rocket swarm to avoid getting cornered. All right. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. It's charged. It's charged. Come on. Hit me with something. Hit me with something. Give me some enemies. I'm ready. Alright, I gotta admit, that's pretty cool. We're not done, though. Okay, and we can't charge up again. I guess the longer your rocket swarm, the higher the quote-unquote refractory period. I'm gonna get you. The controls, I'll admit, they take some getting used to, but not because they're, like, unintuitive, but just because, you know, you're spinning around in 360 degrees here, and, you know, your momentum plays such a big role. Nope, not danger. Just for the record, not danger. We're actually safer than we've ever been. Look at that. I'll have you know, I did beat Panzer Dragoon Orta. I'm, I'm not a... I'm no slouch in the wave-based aerial shooter department. Please charge up a rocket swarm or we're gonna die. <laughs> I'm dead! I was waiting for comedic timing there. Okay, hit me with the retry. Yeah, 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 I know. Okay, we, it looks like the pirates really want you dead, etc., etc. Um, this is why you got rockets. So we charge up some rockets and we come down here and we go take one of these and call me in the morning. Okay, that's step one. Step two, turn on your afterburners. Because it's fun. Yo, now that's the good stuff. The turn like that. Look, I'm going to charge up my rocket swarm, okay? But I've recently used a rocket swarm. So you got to give me a moment here. I can live with that. I can definitely live with that. Okay, good stuff. Charge up the rocket swarm. And send it. They're coming for you, buddy. They're go. Oh, careful. Ladies and gentlemen, we did not get him. He used his his chaff. Chafe? They call it back in the day whenever you played like a a jet fighting game. They always called it chaff. Now they just go like the helicopter used flares to attract heat seeking missiles. That was that was bad maneuvering on my part. I'm willing to admit it. That was bad maneuvering on my part. That was not so bad. They have all been killed. Okay, just tumble. Just tumble a little bit. Yo, the music is so good, too. Okay, don't accelerate into the ocean. What about going up into outer space here temporarily, like Tony Stark near the end of Iron Man 1? 
That gives you time to charge up a rocket salvo. And just do this. I mean, you're not going to hit me. You're not going to hit me. I got my afterburners on. It's a piece of technology so advanced. Mankind has never seen anything like it before. Look at that. Victory. Oh, let's go. <laughs> we barely made it to A tier. Oh, no. We made it. We made it about halfway to... To S tier. I can live with that. I, I like a, a scoring system that makes things a little bit touchy for you. Hack two radio towers. Sky pirate attacks have been on the rise around here lately, and the Federation wants to know why. The pirates are relaying their communications through a series of towers along the coast. If you get in close enough, we should be able to crack their encryption and learn what they're doing here. Okay. Keep your jet near each tower, then move on to the next one. I'm ready. And by ready, I mean... I do think it's going to be a little tricky. You think you get more speed the closer you are to the tower? Maybe yes, maybe no. I mean, I'm just going to be honest with you. I feel like if I charge up a rocket salvo and handle things as, as well as I know... I, okay, you know what? That was a good shot. That was a good shot. I'm not going to... I'm not going to say that was not a good shot when it was clearly a good shot. But my rockets... I believe you. But my rockets don't. Yeah, I'm in danger, okay? I, you ever hear the expression from The Hobbit? The closer you are to danger, the further you are from harm. So I think we should get out of here. Temporarily. Until we get another rocket charge. Send the rockets. And then there you go. Problem solved. <laughs> A little, little spicy, don't get me wrong, it's a little spicy, but check this out. Oh, baby. Oh, we really only made it barely to A tier that time. I like these short missions, too. Like, I played Ace Combat last year. Um, hold on. Miss Legin. My name is Colonel Hardaway. I've been tasked with managing the cleanup of today's D orbit. Those scavengers buzzing around the satellites weren't the only pirates in the area. Another band of sky pirates has been spotted near Jeremy's Landing. I could use another pilot to assist in keeping the area clear. Should be an easy paycheck, huh? Of course. Um, and then I'm not going to worry. Oh, the dodge rolls. I had no idea. This this would have saved me a lot of trouble earlier. But um, let's go. What I was going to say is I played some of uh, Ace Combat that came out last year. I can't remember. Was it Ace Combat 6 that came out last year? Very good game. A lot of fun. But also, one of the reasons I ended up stopping uh, playing it before I made it uh, to the end of the game was because I got uh, onto a mission where, like, I kept dying, like, 15 minutes in and having to start over from zero. So trust me when I say, the the beauty of a, a shorter mission is not lost on me. Yeah, nice try. You almost got me. Whoops. <laughs> I'm alive, I'm alive. Go ahead. Oops. Okay, so I, they didn't want me to shoot them down. They wanted me to roll. That's understandable. Allies arriving. Hello, allies. Doing the dance of, of the jet fighter. Doing the blue angel dance. Sure. Step one, so, so simple. Crash into the enemy. Send out some of these. You ever see something coming your way? Logan, did you see that dodge roll? Oh, baby. Incredible. An absolutely incredible performance. This game seems very good so far. It's unique. You know, you don't play too many games uh, like this. Uh, like, this this is the only, you know, jet combat game I've played this year on Steam. It's not to say it's the only one that came out this year. Um, but there's just something about, like... Uh, like, genuinely, I really like this kind of weird, like, you know, rah-rah, pseudo-futuristic Air Force aesthetic. There's something like Ace... Oh, God! Ace Combat is kind of the same way, where it's like, admittedly... Like, brother, you just want to use some rockets for this. Come on. Um, it's kind of like... Basically, just a show-off thing where you're like check out what this incredible jet fighter can do and it doesn't get too much more complicated than that in the sense that at no point you're like hey that man that you shot down has a family you know 
You're just always kind of like, man, this thing's got a lot of firepower. And it, I, I'm kind of into it, to be honest with you. Um, there's something about, you know, I'm not like a, a rah-rah, you know, USA, USA sort of guy necessarily. But I do have to admit, these, I mean, this is obviously not a real thing that the Air Force uses. But just in general, like, really high performance aviation technology is just not only interesting, but like, innately kind of cool to me. So to see it used like this in a video game, I'm always kind of a sucker for it. Wave two of three incoming. You know what? I'm, I'm starting to think that my strategy of flying into my enemies is doing me more harm than good. I'm also starting to think... Great performance there. But I'm also starting to think we do much better when we don't charge up a full rocket salvo and instead just do a little charge that lowers the refractory period for us. Okay, you flew into the debris that time. Nobody to blame but yourself, really. Excuse me, there's a boss of some sort? <laughs> Hold on. You got it. I think the other cool thing about, like, like plain combat games is that, like, it's much different than... I mean, I, I like all sorts of vehicular combat games, I think, but... It's much different than, like, a first-person shooter where you just kind of, like, you know, point yourself. Oh, God. You just kind of point yourself at the enemy. Like, it requires a different set of tactics and techniques, right? You gotta do, like, strafing runs. You gotta prioritize dodging. Oh, this, don't, don't talk to me about this score, please. I'm embarrassed. What's up, Cap? Got any more jobs for me? What, does a kitten need rescuing from a tree? No new jobs just yet, but I thought you'd find this interesting. I was able to decode some of the Sky Pirate messages before passing them on to the government. Oh yeah? What do they say? Apparently, they've been in the area because a group of them recently discovered some kind of secret weapon buried in the seabed. No d no details on what it exactly it is, but they found it a few weeks ago, and from what I understand, they've already gotten it out of the sheltered sea somehow. Well, if it's out of the sheltered sea, we can't get to it. Yet another reason this hunk of junk needs a hover drive. Sure, sure, but listen to this. It turns out not all Sky Pirates are happy with this new acquisition. In fact, someone on the network is urging the people who took it to put it back before something terrible happens. But they don't seem to be listening, and things do seem to be happening. I've just picked up another distress signal, and this one seems kind of weird. I'll let you look at the map for yourself. Well, thank you. I appreciate that level of autonomy. Anti-aircraft unit detected. Defeat boss. Let's do it. Versus. Yo! <laughs> Attempting secure handshake with asset 01. Fool. Of course, roll to evade. Don't make me laugh. Okay, you know what? It's a good shot. That's a good shot on your part. No doubt about that. Okay, try not to try not to crash into the ship if you can avoid it. If and only if you can avoid it. Look, that's never gonna hit me. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Here's what I think we need. One of these. That you're gonna you're gonna be like that was incredible flying. That was not on purpose. Essentially just very terrible driving on my part is leading me to to do these incredible things. This is gonna be a big one. Oh, baby. Okay. I'm embarrassed by my seeming inability to fly straight. Now we're talking... Oh, that did still hurt, though. So I tried to brake instead of hit the enemy. Um, instead, the brake button is afterburn. Would not recommend. Here's what I would recommend. A one-time injection of infinity rockets... How about not today? Well, I've almost got you. Just gotta, we're so close. Just land a couple of shots in there. Turn your afterburner. I mean, this is not a, a super tough boss. This is kind of like, you know, it's an Isaac boss level right now. I did walk into that without a doubt. Look at that. I'm incredible. Ball of guns defeated. <laughs> Rank D. Embarrassing. Go home. That seems bad. Victory! Everybody died. D minus. 
Well, that was bizarre. What even was that thing? Do I look like a mechanic? It was a job. That's all that matters. That and the goodwill we got for rescuing the crew of that ship, they owe us big time. Sure, but how are they going to pay us if their ship's at the bottom of the ocean? Meow? Plus, they totally left their cat behind when we dropped them off. Oh, what? The cat. The poor thing's just got some hardware caught around his neck. Let me try to cut that out. It's a translator. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Uh-huh. Fine, I'll let it go. Talking smack and grabbing you by the tongue? Because it's rude to touch a gentleman's vocoder, young lady. You should know that. Name's Lem. I'm the finest engineer on these islands, or at least the finest engineer who's also a cat. Okay. Why were you on that ship? Engineering reasons! I found that strange robot on a scuba diving expedition and decided to do a little research. While I was rooting around in its guts, the darn thing came to life. It probably wasn't even because of anything I did. Careful, bud. You pee me off, I pee in your bed. That's the rule. Oh, lord. All right, I get it. I get it. You're you're the cat engineer. We'll do like one more level here, I think. It's a bop, dude. I don't make the rules. It's a bop. This is a very very fun, and like, I I would even call this ambitious. Like that's that's the second word that comes to mind. Clearly, like presentationally, it's a very nice like looking and sounding game. But also, like, a lot of care obviously went into the story, and, and beyond just the aesthetics, a lot of care has gone into... I mean, and this is ignoring, like, the gameplay aspect, which really, like, just to be straight up with you, I'm, I'm pretty sure you could go back to, like, me playing Luftrausers on my channel in 2013, and I'm like, yeah, the game's really good. I do kind of wish they built out, like, some kind of scaffolding for it, though, so that, like, it wasn't merely an arcade-focused game and had a little bit more depth. Again, not to crap on Luftrausers, which I think is... A, a, a very, very good game with a super interesting mechanic that's working well in Jet Lancer. Merely, all I'm saying is uh, having the opportunity to play around with, like, the the very enjoyable Luftrauser-style, like, physics should not have crashed into you. Fair enough. While also having, like, a more, dare I say, like, complete game wrapped around it is, uh is also very interesting. I like it. I like it a lot. Body. Okay. Charge up some of these. We can't afford to take a hit. Hey, you know, funny looking way of playing defensive. Oh! <laughs> the dodge of the century. Line it up. They're... These are formidable foes. These are not just basic enemies. Look at that. He's a genius. I'm going to call it. That's that's the closest we're going to come to S tier. Never mind. We did get a B, though. Anyway, this is a Jet Lancer. It comes out tomorrow for me. Yesterday for you guys, if you're watching this video right now. Um, if you enjoyed it, go check it out on Steam. This is a code that I did receive from the, uh, from the developer. Appreciate it a great deal, but a, a delightfully ambitious... Uh, jet fighting game with kind of like minimalist basic mechanics that are a lot of fun and a nice story and, and campaign mode wrapped around it in general. By the way, it is not 6.58 a.m. I know you might be like, man, NL's up real early. It's 1.09 p.m. <laughs> this was probably when the build was committed is my guess, which just goes to show you they're working hard. Anyway, um, Thanks for watching. Again, check out the game on Steam if you're interested in picking it up. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. You can also wishlist it to be notified of when it's on sale or major updates in the future. If you enjoyed the video, and I'm going to assume you did if you watched all 23 minutes and 42 seconds up to this point, click the like button. It's all I ask. It's the single best way for you as a viewer to support the creator and send a message to YouTube. Hey, show this guy's videos to more people so he continue to grow and thrive and make content that we all enjoy. So if you enjoyed the episode, please click the like button. Apart from that, thanks for watching. I appreciate all your support. I'll see you next time. See ya!